to all our dear televiewers and subscribers of DevEd Teleturuan. This is Rosewell Kiyokehada, Junior High School Teacher of Campinion National High School, your teacher presenter for today. Let us have first this situation. Two college students decided to rent an apartment near the school where they are studying. The nearest and cheapest apartment costs 5,000 pesos a month, which they find too much for their monthly budget. How many students will they need to share the rent with so that each will pay only 1,250 pesos a month? This table shows the rent that they need to share for every student that will be added. By looking in this table, what happens to the rent that they need to share when the number of students increased? As we can see, as the number of students increases, the rent that they need to pay decreases. How many students will they need to share the rent with so that each will pay only 1,200 pesos a month? Based on our table, each student will pay 1,250 pesos if there are four students that will rent the apartment. Since they are already two, they need two more students. This situation is related on our lesson for today which is about inverse variation. Inverse variation is a relationship between two quantities, x and y, that can be written as y is equal to k over x, where k is not equal to 0. y is equal to k over x, may read as y varies inversely as x, or y is inversely proportional to x. In y is equal to k over x, k is what we call the constant of variation that relates the two variables. Let us have this table. Let us solve for the value of y given the following values of x by using y is equal to k over x. Let us use 18 as constant of variation. Let us solve for the value of y if the value of x is 1. y is equal to 18, that is the k, divided by 1, the answer is 18. So the value of y is 18 if the value of x is 1 and if the constant of variation is 18. Next, if the value of x is 2, we have y is equal to 18 divided by 2. So the answer is 9. If the value of x is 3, we have y is equal to 18 divided by 3. The answer is 6. Now, by looking on the values of x and y, we will notice that when we multiply the value of x to the value of y, the answer is always 18, which is our constant of variation. In inverse variation, we can solve for the constant of variation by multiplying the values of x and y. We can also notice that as the value of x increases, the value of y decreases. And on the counterpart, as the value of x decreases, y increases. And that is the relationship of two variables or quantities in inverse variation. Let us have the following examples. The number of hours to finish a job to the number of men working. This shows inverse variation because if there are more men working, the lesser the time to spend in finishing the job. Or, if there are less men working, they need more time to finish the job. Another example, the number of persons sharing a pie to the size of the slices of the pie. This is an inverse variation because if there are more persons sharing a pie, the size of the slices of the pie will be lessened. In short, more person, less pie, or less person, more pie. Now, let us study how to translate each of the following statements into an equation. Let us use k for the constant of variation. 
R varies invariantly as M. When we translate it into an equation, it will become R is equal to K over M. The variable that will be isolated is the one that will be read first. Number two, the number of Petri plants N in a row varies inversely as the space S between them may be translated as N is equal to N is equal to K over S. That is how to translate a statement into an equation. Next, how to determine if the given table of values expresses an inverse variation or not. For us to determine if the table of values expresses an inverse variation, we must check first the relationship of the two variables. If X increases y must be decreases or if x decreases y must be increases and the constant of variation of the given values must be the same let us have this table as we can see as the value of x increases the value of y decreases now let us check if the product of the values of x and y are the same let us use k as the constant of variation we already know that to solve for k, we have k is equal to x times y. So we have 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 8 is 24, and 4 times 6 is also 24. So the constant of variation is 24. Therefore, this table expresses an inverse variation. Let us have another example. Let us determine if this table expresses an inverse variation or not. As we observe, as x increases, y decreases. Next, let us solve for k. k is equal to x, y. So we have 3 times 10 is 30. 5 times 6 is also 30. And 7 times 5 is 35. Since the product of the values of x and y are not the same, therefore, this is not an inverse variation. Next, how to determine the constant of variation and the equation of variation given the table of values? To determine the constant of variation, we will use again k is equal to x, y. In this table, when we multiply x to the value of y, the answer is 24. The constant of variation in this table is 24. And to determine the equation of variation, all we have to do is to substitute the value of k in the equation y is equal to k over x. So we have y is equal to 24 over x. The equation of variation is y is equal to 24 over x. But what if the given is a graph? How to determine if the graph shows an inverse variation? The graph must be hyperbola. It never passes through the origin and never crosses the x and y axis. There you have it. We are about to have a short break. Please stay tuned for more discussions.